Okay, so we've got the start of a brand new unit here, and we're going to be looking to find the area of polygons. And why do we have a parade of dots? I don't know, this is just really unusual. But here comes a parade of dots. Let's see if they, why they just keep coming. What What is with all these dots? Come on, dots, go away. Those dots are not polygons, right? Circles do not count as polygons. Get those things out of here. Oh, they've organized themselves, dot paper. That's what those dots are all about. So we want to find the area of each polygon. And instead of having them labeled with a bunch of numbers, we're actually going to be looking just at the pictures. And so we got to figure out, well, gee, you know, how many units would this be if we cut it up into squares? And of course, if I cut this one up into square units, right, just kind of count them up piece by piece by piece, I can say, aha, it's 10. Or I might say, well, come on, you know, it's uh, five long, it's two wide, five times two is 10. Okay, now notice it says polygon and not just rectangle, right? Find each polygon. Because sometimes you get some unusual shapes. And again, if you get an unusual shape, it's then like, well, what do I want to do? Well, again, I could cut it up in a little one by one squares and say, aha, look, it's uh, got an area of 10. But instead of uh, taking the time to try to count individually, I could visualize it as saying, hey, I've got a rectangle that has an area of two, a rectangle that has an area of eight, two plus eight adds up to 10. Or someone might say, you silly goose, how come you don't look at it this way? Look at it as six plus four. And then I'm gonna try to figure out if I really am a goose. And if I am a goose, uh, what determines whether or not I'm silly? And then someone that really like thinks differently outside the box, they might say, nah, it's 12. Take away two to make 10. Right, and so um, the thing here is uh, I, I don't want you to just say, oh, gee, I'm supposed to just, you know, take these numbers and, and do these things with these numbers. I want to actually take a, a, a physical look at the shapes and uh, kind of play around with it and come up with um, answers and see how creative we come up with it. All right, so we got a bunch of balloons blowing by here. And, oh my goodness, the magic word says worksheet. What a shock. Who would have guessed that this is going to say worksheet? Come on, balloons, get out of the way. Okay, so the balloons are flying out of the way. And we are left with a worksheet. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, it looks like it's one of those hot air balloon festivals going on in the background. There's some gorgeous, gorgeous clouds up in the sky. And there we go. Okay, let's have fun with the worksheet. 